Hello, a very good day to all of you. Welcome to our student Turnitin video guide. Now, the first thing that you have to know is that Turnitin is a plagiarism check website. Plagiarism is when you take or steal other people's work and say that you did it yourself. In higher education, we take plagiarism very seriously. So in all of your coursework and assignments given to you by your lecturers, it would have to go through Turnitin to ensure that you did not copy or paid someone else to do the work for you. Now that you know what Turnitin is all about, let us get started. The first thing that you want to do is to go into Turnitin.com, which is this page over here. And once you're here, if you have already created an account, click on Log In. And in here, you simply key in your Austin email address and your password. If you do not know what your Austin email is, please approach student services and request for it. And once that is done, you click on Log In. Now, if you have not created an account, you simply click on Create Account over here. And in here, the same thing, you key in your Austin email address and a personalized password. And then you click on student. So once you've clicked on student, it would bring you to this page. Now we must key in a class ID and a class enrollment password, which your lecturer would give you. Now for this example, the class ID is 138246644 and the class enrollment password turn it in test next we have to key in your user information so obviously my first name Matthew Tan next this is your Austin email address so mine would be 2016.matthewtan.st.austin.edu.sg And next, we'd want to confirm the email address. Now here, this is your personalized password. So keep it a secret. All right, the next will be a secret question. So if you want more security, we have to select a secret question. So let's take for example, what is my mother's maiden name? I'll just put QWERTY. It's really up to you. And next, of course, you have to read the user agreement. So once you have read everything, click on I agree, create profile. And here it is. This is the class that you have just enrolled yourself in. So of course, you have more than one module that you will need to submit for plagiarism check. Therefore, let's add in another class. What you'll have to do is to click on enroll in a class and key in the other class ID. So another example would be 138 two four seven eight seven and the enrollment password a b c d one two three four and you click on submit so right now you have two modules or two classes that you have in your turn it in next let's take for example you have already completed the assignments for the first class and you're ready to submit them into Turnitin. Simply click on the class and you will get to see what are the components. So for example, in this class, you have coursework one and coursework two to be submitted. You can also see the due date for each of the component. So for coursework one, it is due on 25th of October and for coursework two, the 4th of November. So make sure that you submit early as there will be no submission after the due date. And this would definitely affect your grade. Now, for the fun part, we are going to submit coursework one. 
And in this coursework, I have copied and pasted many information from Google, word for word, without paraphrasing. Paraphrasing simply means that you need to understand what an author is saying and then rewrite the sentence so that the words changed but meaning remains the same. So let's go. The first thing that you have to do is to click on Submit. And upon entering this upload page, key in your submission title. So for this example, I will key in Coursework 1 Test. Please note that this should be your coursework title. Then next, you select a file from your computer over here. Click on Choose from this computer and mine would be test turn it in coursework one and once this is done we will click on upload now in this page please wait while your file uploads and once that is done ensure that the file that you just uploaded is the file that you want to submit you can do so by clicking on the left or right arrows over here to view your document page 2 page 3 and so on now once you have done so click on confirm to complete the process and congratulations you have just submitted your work on Turnitin for plagiarism check okay so now let's return to our assignment list And as you can see over here, the similarity report or the Turnitin report is still processing. No worries about that though. The report should be generated within 5 minutes or less the first time you submit your assignment. However, do keep in mind that if you were to resubmit the document, you could only get the report within the next 24 hours. Now, you can click on refresh to see if your report is out. An important thing to note is that you must not get a similarity report of more than 10%. If you have more than that, your coursework will not be accepted for submission and marking. So for this result of 53%, it is way too much. What you have to do is to redo your coursework or paraphrase more and then resubmit your document once again. To help you get started on amending or correcting your coursework, Click on View. Now, on this screen, click on Originality at the top left hand corner once the page has loaded. Here, you get to see where you have plagiarized, which means these are the areas that you need to change. Let's take a look at Match Overview. Note that this is all color and number coordinated. Here, number 1, which corresponds to the color red, has 18% similarity index. This means that you really have to paraphrase and reconstruct your sentences to reduce the percentage. You can also view the breakdown of plagiarized sources by clicking on the arrow over here beside the source. Look, this is a whole chunk in red and this corresponds to number 1 in red over here. And you can also see that where you have copied all this from are from the internet sources. The same goes for the other sources over here. Now let's take a look at number 6. You have plagiarized from a publication. So when we click on it, you can see that it corresponds over here. So these are something that you will need to paraphrase or rework on it. Alright, let's assume that you have attained 10% or less for Turnitin. You are satisfied with your work and nothing needs to be changed. You are ready to upload the Turnitin report into Google Classroom for coursework submission. Now how do we go about retrieving this document? Simply click on the printer icon at the lower left hand corner of the screen and select the first option, download PDF of current view for printing. Now once the document has been downloaded, you can show it in a folder and this is the document that your lecturer wants. 
this is what your lecturer will be looking out for especially this section over here which is your originality report and there you have it we have now come to the end of our turn it in video guide for students remember work hard work smart and work your way to your dreams